Hi, this is Jack from Alpha Charts with a state of the market video. Today is November 14th, 2020. Before we get started, this video is for educational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. Also, if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on YouTube. I'm sorry, on uh, Twitter um, at Alpha Charge 365. Okay, so let's get into it. So we're going to start with the SPX. By the way, I missed last week. I was on, um, took the weekend, went to Disney with the family, um, had a good time, but I did not get to make a video. So um, I apologize for that, but we will go forward. And I'm really excited for this one, starting with the SPX. Um, so we had the big run up from the bottom, kept going, kept going. We got here to the beginning of September, um, consolidated this nice big gain, right? Um, I'm not going to call this a double bottom, but it has a double bottom look to it. It's not a bottom, of course. It's more of a sideways consolidation. You maybe call it a flag, whatever you want to call it. Um, but look what we've done recently. Ran back up to the top, tried to break out, failed, right? Failed right here. But then we've gone sideways in a fairly tight range. Super bullish. I love the look of this right here. I mean, we are closing right at all time highs, right? Um, right at all time highs. So, you know, one more push higher and a close higher and that's all time highs. And there's nothing bearish about closing at all time highs. So I'm real excited for this particular um, chart. It looks fantastic. Now let's look at the RSP, right? RSP is the equal weight SPX. And it's already at all time highs. What does that tell you? That at least what does it tell me? It tells me that this is a broad based rally. This isn't just a couple of fang names like Apple, Amazon, whatever, that's making um, new highs. It is broad based because it's equal weight. Um, so that is again, confirmation of a very, very bullish um, scenario right here. Um, so let's look at the cues. What do we see here? Similar thing off the lows, sideways consolidation, but not challenging all time highs. That's good information right there. Um, so SPX, all time highs, RSP equal weight SPX, all time highs, QQQ, not all time highs. Actually, you know what? Let me see what QQQ, I haven't even looked at this one yet. Equal weight QQQs at all time highs. Okay, even better. I hadn't looked at this one in a while. That tells me that the largest cap names are not leading the market. It's a broad based rally. Very good information right there, right? Um, so Qs, again, constructive, looking good, but maybe not the leaders right now. All right, let's keep going. IWM, so Russell. Right, usually the dog of the bunch looking really good at all time highs already. Right, um, that is great information. So, we know SPX is leading, we know that IWM is leading, we know that QQQ is lagging a little bit. Let's look at what is in the spy. So, I use the spy ETF for the Q for the SPX and what's made up of it. So, the most important thing that I'm going to look at here is going to be the what's weighted, right? So we know information tech is 27.5%, then healthcare, consumer discretionaries, so on and so forth. Um, so that is, um, that tells you kind of, you know, what's going to push this around all the way down to financials, right? You know, we don't really care so much. Energy is not going to push this around. Real estate's not pushing this around. Materials, not pushing this around. U utilities, not pushing this around. Even staples, not really, or industrials. I would say these are the guys that can that can really push around, right? Um, it is a cap weighted, and if you see that, you know, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google make up the largest weightings. So, you know, then that's all all technology. So let's look at, at the cues. Here are the cues. You see, information tech is forty eight percent of the cues, right? Then discretionaries, then staple. I'm sorry, then communications, then discretionaries, healthcare, staples. And Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA. Look at that. With Apple and Microsoft 
making up for the, the information tech section, like, you know, huge. And if you look at um, communication, it's going to be Facebook and Google, right? So those are all, um, that's good information. That tells me also that these guys are not leaving right now. And let's round it out to look at the IWM, healthcare, financials, industrials. So now if you could do like a Venn diagram of you know what's, what's all going on to me, it looks like you got healthcare, as soon as this little Zoom thing gets out of my way, right? So this is Russell 2000, now look at the SPY. You know what, here's a SPY, information tech, but then what, healthcare, consumer discretionaries, right? All the way down to financials. So that's places I'm looking at, right? There's consumer discretionaries, there's financials, there's health cares. There's a nice overlap right in there. So that may be places I'm gonna look for potential outperformance. Um, so that is the indexes. Again, looking great, very bullish. Um, let's look at some sectors, okay? And significant, uh, I always look at XLF. Now, we're not back at challenging all-time highs, but a very bullish pattern here. And I wouldn't see why we wouldn't get up to all-time highs um, in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, that looks really, really good. And again, I wasn't going to look at this, but let's look at IYG, financial services. So financial services are the big boys. This is an ETF that's... Um, Bank, uh, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Berkshire Hathaway, Goldman Sachs, American Express, um, you know, stuff like that. Now, this is a weekly chart I moved to just to show you that this is the 07 highs right here, right? This is the financial crisis right here. Boom. Came back up. Re um, got rejected. Broke out. False breakout. Big time rejected. Again, this was the COVID. And now we're coming back up to it to challenge this 141 and a half um, section. Um, and look at this, a lot of volume coming into this ETF. If this can get above 142, 142 and a half, um, that would tell you that the, the financials are leading the market, right? And we haven't been able to say that in a really, really, really long time. But we need to keep an open mind that financials could be the new leaders, or at least for a period of time. Um, and we like them to at least participate, even if you don't own financials because you want to do only growth stocks or whatever. If financials are participating, I think we're in a healthy market environment and a very bullish market environment. Um, let's look at SMH. And we go back down to a daily. Now, SMH on a daily, again, Semiconductors, really important, important sector of the market. And we are closing or really close to at least all time highs in SMH also. So I think financials and, and semiconductors are both confirming that this is a healthy bullish environment that we're in. Let's look at lumber. Lumber breaking out to definitely 52 week highs. Um, going back to, let me see, it's the highest since 2018. So I think that is, I mean, look at this gigantic base, um, consolidation, whatever you want to call it. You know, we had all the move down, then boom, right back up, making multi-year highs here. I think lumber making multi-year highs, very bullish for the market overall. Um, let's look at SPX TLT, going to go in some ratio charts now. So this is a risk on risk off chart and you can see it's in a nice uptrend from the COVID lows. Nothing has changed, higher highs, higher lows. Uh, so that's again, reiterating that this is a risk on environment that we are in. Uh, let's look at credit spreads, IEI, HYG. And this is showing us as soon as it comes up, there we go. Um, again, we had the big spike uh, again due to COVID. And then we've come down and then this has been an area of, of potential um, support for higher rates, um, credit spreads, but now we've broken below it and decisively below it. So that is very, very bullish scenario. I think, you know, I was worried that we could get another pop up, but it didn't happen, especially with this false breakdown right here. 
didn't happen. We, we're now lower. We're trending lower. Credit spreads are tightening. Again, bullish scenario. Next up, let's look at the VIX. Looking at the VIX, we're below 25, right? And 24 and a half is where I have my line. We're below that. That is the bullish scenario. Again, um, everything is kind of lining up that we're looking at to say we're in a bullish scenario. Nothing bearish about any of these charts I've seen so far. Uh, put call ratio. Here's the put call ratio, right? So, you know, we've been in this, we'll call this bullish range for a while. We had um, a pullback. It, it shook out some of that excessive bullishness. And um, I think we're ready to get back into another, you know, I, we're still in a bullish range, right? Um, but nothing crazy. We're not overdone right now. I think it did its job, right? And, um, and, and we're close to all-time highs on, on the indexes. So, so I think that this is a very, very bullish scenario with the put call ratio here. Yeah, this is equity only put call ratio. Value line geometric index, right? Let's see how broad base this is. 500 was a level that we were eyeballing as important. Well, it's at 518 right now. Again, very bullish scenario. This tells us that it's a broad based rally. This isn't one or two stocks that are making new highs. This is a lot, a lot of stocks making new highs. Um, Let's look at gold. I was, I've started to look at gold now a little bit more. I'll leave it as a line chart, no big deal. So this is the big picture, right? Big picture, you know, if we go to weekly, we kind of see a little bit easier. And now this is potentially need to build out. It could take a year to build this out. Again, this is a weekly chart. So give it some time, but I think gold in the future is gonna have its day. Um, you know, obviously, you know, if you caught it from here, Awesome, great job. Um, but the bigger pattern that's building out right now, again, it could take till next summer, but things are looking um, reasonably good as long as this doesn't break down too crazy. All right, and um, just looking at gold versus SPX, you know, this is a beautiful bottoming pattern. Again, as long as we don't get a breakdown here, um, this inverse head and shoulder on the ratio chart is looking, um, looking pretty good right now. But again, we're looking at next year as potentially to finish up this pattern. So we got a long time to wait and, um, and there's other things to be had since then. So we talked a lot about this being broad based and not the big boys. And I haven't looked at the, um, these charts, but let's take a look at it. Okay, so here's Apple. Um, you know, Apple sideways consolidation is not making all time highs. So it goes with our thesis, right? Amazon, same thing. You know what? We have a sideways movement, um, not we're nowhere near all time highs. Makes sense, right? Let's look at Google. Google, you know, communication section was, sector was looking good. And you have Google making all time highs. There's Facebook. Again, sideways consolidation makes sense. And, um, Am I missing anybody, the big boys? I think that's it. Um, yeah, it was just uh, NVIDIA. Again, SMH look good. That looks good too. All right. So those are some of the big, big ones. I think that the biggest thing I could take out of my review today, for me personally, is that, and this is weekly charts. It goes back to the daily. The biggest thing I'm taking out of this is SPX is at all-time highs. IWM is all at all time highs. QQQ is not at all time highs, right? So some of the places I'm going to look at this weekend is going to be healthcare and financials, industrials, discretionaries, you know, because they align with, you know, um, I'm sorry, that's, there we go. Healthcare, financials, industrials, discretionaries, right? They all kind of line up together in that, that Venn diagram type thing. Um, yeah, so that's what I got for you today. I think we're in a, in a very bullish scenario. I think that um, there's no reason to be bearish. You know, I, I get it. The volume isn't isn't amazing on the queues. I don't I don't love it. But you know, when we look at the other you know scenarios, there's nothing wrong with this moving sideways, volume sipping down, breakout. So you have to know the environment that we're in. I think we're in a very bullish environment. Um, this weekend, I'm also gonna be doing a top-down approach video. Um, 
where I'm going to go through all the sectors and I'm going to pull out what I see as the future leaders. Um, I'm going to do a really in-depth dive and then I'm just going to present um, my findings. I'm not going to go through the whole dive on the video, but I'm going to go ahead and, and get my list and I will share my watch list. So um, look for it later on today, probably maybe sometime um, this afternoon, but I uh, hope you all have a good week this week. Again, uh, no reason to be bearish in my opinion here. Everything is looking really good. Um, good luck trading and take care.